As part of the European Works Council, the three are aware of the company management's plans. As such, they sometimes have more information than their own local bosses. That is very cool. The three represent the employees' interests on an EU level. They think this is really good, but it could be better. Because the company management often does not consult the EWC, although it is actually obliged to by law. The EWC often cannot do anything about this. EU law also describes the establishment of an EWC. A company must have more than 1,000 employees throughout Europe, at least 150 of them in two countries. Allparts recently established an EWC. Manuel, Agnieszka and Nicola requested to convene the Special Negotiating Body, SNB. The SNB negotiates all of the conditions with the company management. The problem? The EU directive only roughly describes the framework. Most things are negotiable. This is unfortunate for Manuel, Agnieszka and Nicola because the company management gives them little say in things. That is why the European Trade Union Confederation requests that the European EWC Directive be improved. Specifically, legal measures for EWCs if the company management fails to comply with the information and consultation rights. Old EWC agreements must be modified to comply with today's standards. Union representatives have access to the EWC for more consulting and exchange. Manuel, Agnieszka and Nicola agree and know. Strong EWCs need strong and clear directives.